the origin of Mount Eden Pinot Noir goes back to 1900 and Paul Masson. Paul Masson was a Burgundian man who came to California, married into the family that owned Almaden Vineyards down in San Jose. And then Paul wanted to start his own winery. He started it in 1905. Next door to us, uh, we're in, in this mountaintop above the town of Saratoga. And he went back to France and got Pinot wood from Burgundy, came back to his vineyard site, planted it along with Chardonnay and other varieties, and he made sparkling wine. He was famous for sparkling wine. In the 1930s, Martin Ray uh, bought Paul Masson from Paul, and uh, Martin Ray always looked at, at Paul as his mentor, his wine, wine uh, teacher, um, and he started making varietal Pinot Noirs, which in 1936 was really revolutionary. Uh, not called Burgundy, but actually called Pinot Noir. And then uh, during the time when uh, Paul was talking to Martin about buying his place, Paul suggested to Martin that he start from scratch, from just a bare mountaintop, and plant this, uh, this mountain next door to the north, which became eventually, in the 1940s, Martin Ray Vineyard. And then in the 1970s, it became Mount Eden Vineyards, same mountaintop. But it's uh, historic in that uh, when Martin first came to this site, he planted Pinot Noir and Chardonnay in 1943, and it's the oldest continuously estate bottled Pinot Noir in the whole country because of that. Still making it, same sites, different vines, of course, but uh, same, same exact, you know, terroir, so to speak. One thing that I want to emphasize about this appellation and uh, this tasting, which I think you'll see, is if you really want to capture a terroir character, the, 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 the vineyard has to be small. It can't be a huge vineyard, especially with Pinot Noir. And all these guys at this table, uh, we all have small vineyards, and they're all tucked in these mountains, in these forests typically. Uh, so it's, it's pretty easy you know, to really capture a signature wine from these, from these small vineyards because it just happens. It's just by the very nature of the size of our our vineyards and our topography, which is makes it so we have small vineyards. Uh, I don't have much time, so I'll be I'll be I'll go I'll go right to the, the actual site. It's um, it's above the fog in the mornings. During the growing season, we have fog in the South Bay, and the, uh, the vineyard sites are in the sun. So they see sun during the growing season for a real long time, from like six in the morning until about eight o'clock at night. Uh, lots of uh, uh, dry wind coming through all the time because of our elevators. It's about 2,000 feet up in the mountains. Uh, the vines are dry farmed. Uh, it's a mosaic of different clones and selections. It's not just the Mount Eden selection uh, taken by Paul back in the 1900s. Um, the yields are small, about two tons an acre. Um, the, uh, the vines are very uh, closely planted, about uh, a three by eight spacing. They're on rootstock, of course. Um, the harvest typically is a little bit earlier than the other wineries at, at this table. We're um, off of the ridge that separates the ocean from the valley. We're on more of the inland side of, of the mountain range, kind of right in the middle of the Appalachian in Saratoga. Um, so our harvest usually is around the first week of September. No yeast, no malolactic culture, French oak barrels, no water, no acid, very simple winemaking. I mean, I, I've been making wine for over 30 years now, and um, I've learned to make wine as simply as I possibly can. No additions. So everything you taste is just what I harvest. About 12 months of uh, barrel aging, no fining, no filtration. Very, very, uh, very old-fashioned in a way. But I, I'm very proud of the fact that the wines are made without any, any alterations. Um, Flavor-wise, it's, it's a little more French-like in style. I think all these wines you'll see are a little more savory than sweet in the, in the spectrum of Pinot Noir. They also age very well. I just had a, this last week, I had a 1954 Pinot Noir from Martin Ray. It was one of the very best wines in my entire life I've ever had. <clears throat> so they age. Believe me, they age. That's about it. <laughs>